G'day trendsetters, in today's video, we're learning that ceramic coating is for more than just your automobile. It works pretty nicely on bicycles as well. Some folks who are not into automobiles or cars, if you prefer, or own a car for that matter, might be wondering, what are you talking about, mate? What the hell is ceramic coating? Ceramic coating is basically, as the name implies, a chemical type compound with ceramics of some kind, forgive me, I don't know the whole complete technical chemical breakdown that you apply in a similar manner like wax to in this case here, this bicycle frame, namely the frame, fork surfaces, etc. Naturally, you can coat some of the other components such as the rims, crankset, etc. Pretty much whatever you desire to ceramic coat. Although I wouldn't ceramic coat the saddle, it might become a bit slippery. Much like wax, ceramic coating repels water and dirt, but it lasts a lot longer than your average coat of wax, etc. With that said, I have two spray bottles right there. They're both by Turtle Wax. One bottle contains the actual ceramic spray on coating, and the other is a detailer for those times when you need to do a quick cleaning using a rag and so on. So what's the attraction for me to apply a ceramic coating to a bicycle frame? Stating the obvious, a gravel bike gets covered in dirt and crap all of the time. Now, and I tried it as an experiment on the Time 80HX45 review bike, which is linked on screen. And with all of this said, some folks who are into motor vehicles are going to say, hey mate, that spray on stuff is absolute bloody garbage. Ceramic coating is available in several flavors. There is the professional grade stuff that many of the professional shops who apply ceramic coating to cars for a living, and usually that sort of ceramic coating is very thick versus the spray on variety. With the professional type ceramic coating, we're talking coatings that can last anywhere from two to five years. That's pretty impressive stuff. With the spray on type, they typically last about a year. Now I use the Turtle Wax brand right there on all of my personal vehicles, including my runabout, my Chrysler Pacifica hybrid minivan. I applied their coating about five months ago. I haven't washed the van in any way. It's just had rainfall and other crap fall onto it, and it looks pretty good. This ceramic coating does a pretty stellar job of keeping the paint relatively clean, and I believe it also protects the clear coat from UV rays and so on. I've also applied the same brand of Turtle Wax ceramic spray onto my Garage Queen vehicles, namely my Hot Rod Dodge Challenger Hellcat wide body, in all transmission, and my beautiful 911 Turbo, and my gorgeous 1971 vintage Corvette. So without further psycho babble and so on, let's apply a coat of that Turtle Wax ceramic spray on to the Trek Demane sitting to my right. There is no right or wrong way in my experience to apply this product, but do use two separate rags. I use one rag for applying and one rag to wipe off once everything's dried. And it dries pretty quickly. You can apply it directly to the frame or you can apply it to the rag. This is, in my opinion, a process that is easier done if the frame's not already built. Obviously this frame is built up with components, so is it going to be perfect? No, in fact, I probably should have removed the ball cages to get all these nooks and crannies, but you know, this is what it is for the purposes of this demonstration. You can also, a coat the crank set. The little nooks and crannies behind the cr chain are a bit trickier. Thankfully this is a really clean chain. You really need to start off this process with a clean bike. Hopefully that's obvious. I find it helps if you apply maybe one or two coats. You can even apply to your carbon rims or aluminium rims. Obviously it pays to remove the wheels to access all those nooks and crannies, such as underneath the fork crown, etc., that is an area where dirt likes to collect, etc. The entire bike has been coated, including the rims, the seat post, the cranks, and the frame and fork. So I'm just gonna let it dry for a minute. Now comes the easy part, and I like to use a different colored rag so I know what's the Wipe on, wipe off rag. You can already feel a difference with how slick the bike feels. 
just as I wipe. When you wax a vehicle, you can see often like a white color coating. You don't really see that with the ceramic, but you sure as bloody hell can feel it when you wipe your rag over the surface. Yeah, it's a bit muddy here on the old bike. Thankfully, I did ceramic coat the frame. It's drifting down now. Observation here, notice how clean the bike is. You notice how dirty it was earlier, covered in mud and so on. So that is testament the ceramic coating I applied to the frame, fork, and a couple of components, such as the cranks, are uh, repelling water magnificently. Don't forget that road spray and rainwater basically washed this bike off as I was riding along. There's a little bit of mud here and there, not too much, but it's pretty clean. All I have to do now is wipe it off, essentially. Check out my bike the next day after the rainwater has had a chance to dry off. You can see the rims, which I didn't coat, uh, still covered in dirt and so on and the rest of the bike is very clean some dirt here and there but most of that mud has washed off I have found that less dirt and grime sticks to the frame and if you need to clean the frame it's a simple matter of squirting off the bike with the hose and then using a rag to just wipe off the water and most of the time the dirt is simply gone so it eliminates a lot of hard scrubbing and so on and protects the paint. Now granted, this is not going to do the same job as PPF, paint protection film. Squirt off the ceramic coated Time ADHX 45. Of note, I did not ceramic coat the carbon wheels by Industry 9. Let's squirt it. Let's bang off most of the water. Very scientific this is. You can see clearly the wheels, they're still dirty. Ceramic coating on the frame. And this is next morning after drying off. Beautiful. So there you have it, Trendset, as my video concerning Ceramic coating is more than just for automobiles. I hope you found this video useful and hopefully there's less mud, dirt and crap piling up on your frame if you happen to follow my method here. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel for interesting content such as this. No bullshit. Gravel bike reviews. You can check the review of this particular bike linked in the description below. Other product reviews, ride experience videos, and of course my favorites, General Madness. I've got a few dogs here. <laughs>